is July 8th, the day after my fireworks show. And so that's where I sat last night and ran the show. And uh, people sat all in here. We had uh, 30 people here and uh, had the camera set up back there where those flags are. And coming this way, let's uh, check out the aftermath, shall we? So we'll head on out to the shoot site. Yeah, it was a pretty good show. Um, it wasn't what I would say a perfect show, but I don't think they ever are. Um, it got so wet last night, I had a few cakes I had to hand light. And um, that's just the reality of shooting, you know, down here in the river valley where you get a lot of condensation. So, um, <clears throat> and we had a couple catch fire, but luckily I had an extinguisher here, so I was able to get that out quick. Um, fortunately, that didn't happen until after the show was over, so that, that was good. Um, I'll walk through this way. I went ahead and pulled off all of the modules last night because I had to dry them all off because it they were soaked. It was like it, it looked like it rained on them, but it hadn't. Um, it's just that's how much condensation uh, was on the cakes and the re remotes. So out of I think 72 cakes, I had four that I had to hand fire, and then the finale I had 18 cakes, and then two of those didn't go off. But luckily they were just for sound effect. It was the screaming cakes, so I had one cake that screamed. So. Anyway, all in all, though, um, you know, it, was, it was a great show. Um, very few uh, problems, so I was overall pretty pleased about it. So check out all the debris here. Just walking through. So this was the first problem child. So I just let that one go and uh, just kept going through the show until. Oh, let's see. Right up in here somewhere. I had uh, this this one, uh, Black Magic. I had to go hand light that, and then uh, Mustang Sally because those both didn't go. So <clears throat> I hit Sky Comet, and then came back hit Black Magic, uh, torched uh, Mustang Sally, and then this. Um, I had several cakes that I didn't think were going to go off. I hit the button, nothing went, hit the button, nothing went, nothing went, nothing went, and then all of a sudden, all four of them went at the same time. So that tells me how wet it was. It was just super delayed, and I'm sure the first tubes were probably had condensation in them. And, but for some reason, they went all four at the same time. It looked really cool, um, but that was not intentional. And then I had to come back and hand like fist bump. But luckily, you know, not, not only do I pyro poke, but I just leave the fuse just in case I have to do that. And obviously if I had a, a second person um, that I trusted uh, that was trained in pyrotechnics, um, I would have had him, you know, I would have had a little uh, radio and I would have um, told them to, you know, hit C12 fist bump. Um, and they could have just came here and handled it and nobody would have ever known that it didn't uh, go off electronically so but I don't have that luxury and I don't want to put somebody out here that doesn't know what they're doing because I don't want them to get hurt so and let's see yeah midnight sunburn I had to hit that one and then flipping the bird I had to manually fire that but then after that yeah flip, flipping the bird caught fire mammoth ring of fire caught fire um, see there was one other cake somewhere that was burning too. I don't remember where it was exactly. But, um, so anyways, good thing I had fire extinguisher. Um, Willow's God, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. And then here we had the Dola. Star Destroyer hit the rack. Um, Wings of Fire, black label. One of the cakes that didn't go here was Lone Wolf. And uh, basically, same situation over here. Um, Lone Wolf did not go off, but uh, fortunately, on the right side over here, Lone Wolf did go off. So at least I had some screaming, but I just didn't have the triple screams that I wanted. But you know, it's just the way things work. You're not always gonna something's always gonna not go off. 
Um, but you just try to minimize the error. But yeah, I, my, my fused racks though, man, those, those uh, I only had one shell that didn't go, but the reason it didn't go is because it was wet. I, I can see, I tried to, uh, when I came over here, it was the last Shiki shell that I had in this rack. Um, that was the only shell that, out of 75 that I fused. There's only one that didn't go, so that's pretty good. So, see debris everywhere. But yeah, this is the carnage. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I know this isn't like a real exciting segment, but I just wanted to show you, you know, this, this is the reality of afterwards you got to clean up. You know, I'm going to actually go save all these wires and I'll, I'll cut them and reuse them. So, all right, this is 5150 Pyrotechnics.